Here's our scenario again. This time what we're going to do is create a decomposition diagram. When we're doing the process modeling, we start out with a context level diagram, and that context level diagram we use to create the overview of our system or our process. It's sometimes referred to as a level zero diagram. In this case, in this video, we're going to create the decomposition diagram. What we do in the decomposition diagram is to take the system apart into its sub-processes. And we usually have two to five sub-processes in each of the systems that we're diagramming. If you watched the previous video on creating the context diagram for XYZ University, then you have seen something similar to what we see here in this context level diagram here. So now what we'll do is decompose our chapel system right here into the subordinate processes. To do that, we go back to our draw.io website. And here, what I've done is I've gone ahead and hit New, Create New, gone up and hit File, New, and now we're calling it XYZ Decomposition Diagram. Now, of the three diagrams that we do, the decomposition diagram, the context level diagram, or a level zero diagram, and the high level diagram, this is probably the easiest one to create in another software package like PowerPoint. You don't necessarily have to use draw.io to make it. It is convenient since we're already in draw.io for our context level diagram and our high level diagram. Here we are with our scenario again. And in the decomposition diagram, what we're trying to do is we're trying to decide what are the processes that fall underneath our overall system. We're going to decompose the system into its subordinate processes. So in this case, we'll read through our scenario again, looking for what the processes are. So we go through at XYZ University campus, ministers use the chapel system to notify students of chapel dates and topics. So right there, we have one of our processes. Then the students attend chapel, and as we said in the decomposition, excuse me, in the context level diagram video, the students attending chapel is a physical activity. It's not a data activity. So we're not going to do anything with that for our decomposition diagram. But at the end of the chapel, the students present their IDs to be scanned, and the results are stored in a file. So there we have the recording attendance as a, an activity that's going on that affects the data. So we'll keep note of that. And then at the end of the term, the system generates a report of attendance for the ministers and contact students with fewer than 30 chapels credits. So now we have the system that generates a report and we have to track that report. Let's go back to our draw.io diagram. Now the draw.io diagram software is not designed specifically for process modeling but it does work for us and what we are trying to do at this point is to d distinguish what our different processes are for our decomposition diagram. So overall we have the chapel system that we had from before and we call that level zero and we decided from our scenario that we had the first process which was notify we'll call that level one zero notify of dates and topics so this actually could be done as two separate processes. Uh, more than likely they would come from the same process anyway, but we'll call this notify of dates and topics as our first subordinate process. And you'll see as we get into the level one diagram, these are why we, this is why we call this a level one because we're dealing with the 1.0 level. Now let's add in our second process. We can go back to our scenario. So the first one was notify the students of chapel dates and topics. Second is we're going to record that this, the student's identification 
is brought in and they're scanned and then we put that into a file. So we're going to go ahead and record attendance. So that would be our 2.0 record attendance. And remember when we're creating these processes what we want to do is focus on having a noun verb or verb noun type of relationship because it's an activity it needs to be noted with some sort of activity some noun verb or verb noun type of name so here's our 3.0 let's go back to our diagram or our scenario and we see at the end of the term the system generates a report of attendance for the ministers and contacts students with fewer than 30 chapel credits so the third and final is we're going to report probation and attendance. And we can make it prettier. There we have it. Now, what we have to do in this case is we don't want to use arrows when we're drawing in this part. So we could just open up this miscellaneous, close up the general, open up the miscellaneous and we have a horizontal line and we have vertical line so we're gonna take this vertical line it doesn't have to be all that pretty for what our purposes are in this video we just want to get again this is not the software that is the best for creating process model diagrams but it does work for our purpose and so here now we can go ahead and take this and we created an arrow, we don't want the arrow, so we're going to go ahead and create the vertical lines again. And what I'm doing is clicking on the vertical lines over here. And that's approximately right. I'm hitting Control C and then Control V and we'll just drag it over. It should be about the same length over here. And there we have our XYZ. decomposition. And we can go in in the text again, make it larger, and there we have a nice little title on it so we know what we have when we're looking at it at a later date or if we print it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is how you create a decomposition diagram using Draw.io.